Mic check. Ha 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 ha. I'll be the chef for Obi-Wan and Chewbacca. I want to talk about Tycho Brahe. <laughs> uh, I know, it's a little weird. I turned that, made that turn. Tycho Brahe. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Tycho Brahe? Anyone? A couple small people, a few people wearing glasses. You know what I'm talking about. I want to talk about Tycho Brahe. And Tycho Brahe, I believe, personally, is the greatest man to ever live. Dare I say, more interesting than a dude who has to pretend he's Mexican for a Dos Equis commercial. Okay? <laughs> Tycho Brahe was an astronomer, all right? And I don't want to talk about the fact that he discovered supernovas, where he did all this other cool shit with Johannes Kepler, or that he was so OCD he kept all these notes with him and all this shit. I don't want to talk about that, all right? I want to start from the beginning, which we all are our lives beginning. I want to talk about Tycho Brahe when he was in college in the 1540s. Okay? Think about your own college experience real quick. Think about it, take it in, feel it, process it. All right, fuck that. It's pussy shit compared to this dude. All right? Tycho Brahe had an enemy when he was in college, and he would walk around, and he and this dude would get into fights. You ever have that dude you just don't get along with, and you go to a party, you see each other, and everybody's like, no, you know, you can't let Brad, you can't let Brad and Anthony near each other, or they're just going to fucking yell, man, we don't need that shit right now. Like, that, this, it was that type of thing, okay? This happened twice. And on the third time, Tycho was walking down the street, and he overheard his nemesis talking. And this is what this is how it went. His nemesis standing there, he's like with a bunch of other people. He goes, you know, I believe personally that the uh, the greatest uh, the greatest mathematician was Archimedes. And Tycho mid stride just stopped and went, All right, I'm gonna let you finish right now. But Pythagoras was the greatest motherfucking mathematician of all time. And then shit got weird. Now normally <laughs> Now, normally in this situation, you know, like when Kanye did that to Taylor Swift, she wrote a bitchy album about it, and a bunch of emo girls listened to it, and Kanye wrote a song and then hopped in his other other beds, okay? What does Tycho do? Tycho gets so fucking pissed off that this dude would dare think that, that someone's better than Pythagoras. He literally drops the glove right there, and he goes, tomorrow, dawn, bridge, swords. <laughs> he had a duel. A dedicated, scheduled murder <laughs> over math. <laughs> math. Think about that. The shit used to snort Adderall to get through in fucking 11th grade. He was willing to schedule a murder. So he goes and he meets his dude, right? They meet there at dawn, and they have this big old throwdown duel. What happens? Tycho has his nose chopped off. Over math. His nose cut off his face so he looks like a fleshy ginger fucking skeletor. Alright? Now, what does he do? What does Tycho do? I forgot to mention he's ginger, which makes it even better. He had a mustache the size of fucking elephant tusk. We'll get to that. Alright. What does Tycho do? He's missing his nose. Does he hide away in his castle like some evil genius because he's a fucking millionaire? Does he hide away like Doctor Doom, just waiting and being like, Richards? No. He doesn't do that. What does Tycho do? He creates a prosthesis. He builds himself a gold nose. He beat Humpty by like fucking three centuries, okay? 1550, this dude's walking around with a gold nose and a walrus-like ginger mustache. And this dude got so much pussy with that gold nose, you wouldn't even fucking imagine it. He slammed that gold nose into so many dirty French cunt clits than you could ever fucking imagine while just sopping up the juices with that mustache. And then he would get done and shake his whole face like a big old St. Bernard. And then drink a goblet of mead. And then pull out a telescope and look at stars for money. <laughs> Tycho Brahe wasn't even done. Tycho Brahe then turns into the P. Diddy of fucking Denmark. Think about that fucking statement for a second, okay? He throws these lavish-ass parties. He gets rich as shit. At one point, he opens up a printing press, okay? He opens up this amazing printing press, and he just starts making money left and right. That's right. The dude doesn't just pirate everything. He pirates fucking money. He just starts printing money because fuck you. That's why. All right? He's got a gold nose. What are you going to say to him? Okay? So he just starts printing money and he gets rich as shit. And he starts throwing lavish, like even more rich. He starts throwing lavish parties because at one point he owns 2% of all the wealth in Denmark. He owns 2 fucking percent of all the wealth of a country. He could, he, if he was bored, he could have just gone to another country and been like, uh, this is now Tycho Bra mania, because I'm Tycho Bra, bro. Like, that could have been his shit. He at one point hired a midget, okay? 
He made him his court jester. And he used to keep the midget underneath his dining room table during parties. And then he made the midget like tell people's future like a gypsy. Think about this. This guy is so rich, he found someone with a disability and said, oh, that's cute. And then put him under his table and said, I'm going to pull you out for parties. You know, like my favorite YouTube link. At one point, Tycho got into an argument with a French king. And they had this huge blowout. And the argument was whether or not the French king had this antelope. He said it was the fastest antelope in all the land. The fastest antelope, the fastest creature on four legs. And Tycho came back and he said, no, I own a moose elk that's fast as shit. And the guy was like, what do you want to do about it? Because let's race it. Xbox Live doesn't exist. <laughs> and so that's what they did. They were going to have a race. Two weeks before the race was supposed to happen, Tycho writes the king a letter. He goes, I want to apologize. Um, we, I can't have the race. The, we got the moose elk drunk. And it fell down the steps and died. <laughs> died. This is a one-ton elk. My dad's six foot eight. It takes a keg of beer to get him drunk. This is a one-ton elk. He had to have literally just been pouring booze down a ball. You're like, oh, you remind me of the Polish. Just like pouring booze down his throat and then riding him with a midget while like pulling him off his gold nose. Like, ah, oh, look at my party trick. And slapping it the fuck back on. At the end of his life, Tycho went to a party. I don't know why the fuck he would go to anyone else's party, but he did. And he went, and they had this, they had this thing in the uh, in 1600s in Europe. You weren't supposed when you go to a party before the you weren't supposed to break the seal before the host broke their seal. So you weren't supposed to piss until the host was like, I gotta go take a piss. Okay. So Tycho is sitting there and waiting and waiting and waiting, He's waiting to piss. Guy never goes. Tycho keeps drinking. Guy never goes. Tycho keeps drinking. Eventually, Tycho brought his bladder exploded. 11 days later, he's laying in bed with Johannes Kepler, one of the greatest astronomers of all time, sitting next to him. And he turns to him and he goes, my one regret is that you don't believe that the Earth is the center of the solar system like I do. That's the most badass thing I've ever heard. <laughs> my one regret isn't having my nose cut off over math. It isn't paying a midget to sit underneath my table and look up girls' skirts while saying, I can read your future. Killing a moose with booze. My one regret is it pissing myself to death. My one regret is science. And not only that, the wrong science. So guys, when you go home tonight, I want you to go on Wikipedia, and I want you to take a look at Tycho Brahe, the man, the myth, the legend. And I want you to think real long and hard Ladies, especially you, when's the last time you fucked a man who changed the world by looking up at the stars? Because if you did, shit would be awesome. Thank you guys so much. I'm Alex Perlman. <laughs>